And there was a big series that took place between the New York Mets and the Atlanta Braves. This was a five-game setup here with one doubleheader happening on Saturday. And the New York Mets entered the last time their series was going to take place up against these Atlanta Braves with a lot of fear, not maybe for the players, but for the fans and for the backers of this baseball team. Oh, no, they're going to get swept. They're going to get ran out of the building. And they won that series. They took two out of three off the Atlanta Braves. And then they bring the Braves into their building, and they take four out of five. A lot of things are on the move with the New York Mets, and we'll set that up appropriately. But the story right now is Sunday's starter, Jacob deGrom. A perfect five and two-thirds, 12 strikeouts. He was sensational. And the thing about deGrom, none of it was really surprising. Other than the fact he had just come back, this is who he always is when he is out there on the mound. Baseball's best pitcher is back because baseball's best pitcher is, to me, clearly still Donnie, Jacob deGrom. I'll tell you what was incredible about that game, too. The 12 strikeouts certainly was impressive. We do expect a lot of strikeouts in Jacob deGrom starts, but also maybe it was an eight-inning performance or a nine-inning performance to get, 12 strike, excuse me, to get those 12 strikeouts. He goes five and two-thirds to get that, but even more impressive, 12 strikeouts and only 76 pitches. Usually the strikeout guys go deep in the count mm -hmm. and guys are fouling balls off, and you know it takes a lot to get that because if you're just looking for a singles hitter or a doubles hitter, whatever it would be, you know, they might swing on the first or second pitch, and there you go, on to your next batter. But the, what was he doing, Kevin? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like immaculate innings. That's what it feels like here. But also, more importantly, if you would have said yesterday the Mets would have lost that game one to nothing, the ground was greater, let's just say two to one, you would still be feeling pretty confident. But the fact that now the Mets are distancing themselves from the Atlanta Braves is quite impressive because right before the All-Star break, we talked about that one series where there was a chance that the Atlanta Braves actually could surpass the New York Mets when they were about 10 games back 30 days ago. That hasn't happened. Now, all that momentum and that good vibe that was used up by the Atlanta Braves, now the Mets are turning it against them here. They're the team to beat in the NL East, and obviously the odds say that as well. But more importantly, number one and number two, Max Scherzer and Jacob deGrom, they're in Cy Young form. And we're in August. Watch out.